cannot believe it. Stepping out. Gonna go pick up Bridget and I's friend Jill's left, hopefully, golf clubs. And I have a tee time at 1.30 at the Yellowknife Golf Course. I am so excited. It's been well over a year since I've golfed last. I'm looking forward to see what this course is all about. I believe it's nine holes. We're just gonna have to find out. Let's play. Got my golf shirt on. I don't know if there's a dress code. We're just gonna have to see. I have a hard time believing there will be, but wear a collared shirt just, just in case. The clubs are left, so we will be golfing. Now to find out where the golf course is. It's not very difficult to navigate Yellowknife, to be honest. I biked it yesterday, and it's pretty much a full circle from Fred Honey Park all the way down to Old Town and the industrial area. I'm so excited. There's golf carts. Absolutely gonna get a golf cart. Hi there. Golfed in Yellowknife. Cannot believe it. So, just a little rundown. As you can see behind me, there's hole one. The fairways are sand. So, what do you do on the sand? You don't bring out your sand wedge. No way. You bring around your own piece of turf. Tear it around, put your tee in if you so choose. Doing 18 holes, I was surprised they had 18 holes and I'm keeping score. So let's find out how uh, it truly is. Going really straight. I wanted it to go right. Not a bad first hit. You gotta play where it lies. First drive in the rough. I have about 120. The tee. I'm just gonna whack it out with maybe three iron. Get in fair play. 156 yards, bringing out my eight iron. Hopefully, her right on there. Their turf greens. Here we go. Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta use the turf. It's kind of tricky because it's a little elevated. So I'm gonna have to choke up. Chip it right on. Par four, chipping on for par. Hopefully can, I can get a bogey here, put it nice and close. Not what you want. I'm warming up. Dog leg, right? Now I'm pretty impressed. All these carts have GPS on them, so that's a great asset to have because you have a distance marker. I hit that 218, pretty good hit. So only 60 yard chip here to put it on the green. It's a pretty big green. Looks like it has a water feature. I can, don't imagine this course has any sand features because it literally is a sand feature. Mind you, I've enjoyed my first few holes here. Right on the fairway, 200 yards away. So I'm gonna bring out my five iron, chip it over that little mound there. Nice I just hit that 256. That's impressive. Now I got 104 yards to the green. See what I can do. I'm actually chipping some grass. The greens are so fast. Oh. 
Are you too good for your home? Answer me! The beautiful thing is I've only lost one ball. Very forgiving course in that sense. There's not a lot of long grass. I was over a little bit in the other fairway and I just chipped it back into play. So you're not losing a ton of balls. Quite a beautiful day. No bugs today, which was gorgeous. And I was a little worried about how wet the course was gonna be but from the flooding yesterday, but it's totally fine. And the greens are good considering. Let's continue. Well, we have a par five here. Should be interesting, 487. Time to bring out the big guns. Yards out. We gotta bring it back into play. So I'm gonna crank a five right here. See how she goes. Not good distance. The beautiful thing about these fairways are that they roll. My goodness. It's just hard compacted sand, so it just goes, which I love. This is the last hole of the nine. Let's make it a good one very tedious taking the little piece of turf off, but I'm just happy in golfing. Not a bad shot. If I chip this in, that's for birdie, I'll take that. Some nice grass on the fringe, and this doesn't have the rocks around it, which is nice. I think that's with the wind. There's no way I can hit that consistently. I'm 180 yards out. Let's pop that up with a seven. Got a really lucky bounce off of the tree and avoided the swamp. There we go. Get on there. Move on the green. So I wanted to lay up and go left. Not today. Pressure people watching. Hole seven. That's not right. I think I uh, played the wrong hole, maybe. Out of bounds. Here's reverse back into play. How do I get to 17 though? 
What happens when you're lost? We just crank that 271. It's gotta be the furthest I've hit in a long time. With random set of clubs. Thank you, Jill. Playing amazing. Not a bad 18. Yellow knife golf course, you definitely impressed me. I have golfed on some beautiful courses. Jasper, Big Bear. I have to say, yes, the aesthetic is gorgeous. Greens are gorgeous. Fairways are perfect. But have you golfed north of 60? I would recommend it. If anybody wants to do the road trip up to Yellowknife, come up and play Yellowknife Golf Course. I will definitely play another round.